Hey, welcome back to another Bee Mother review. And today, we actually, we've got more of a preview for you as we have an early production sample of the Connecticut's Terry Bogard one quarter scale statue. Now, Terry Bogard, he's probably most famous from the King of Fighters series of video games. Um, you know, the King of Fighters, uh, if you've ever watched Bloodsport, and you know, who hasn't watched Bloodsport? Uh, it's sort of like the Kumite, uh, you know, fighting tournament where these warriors from around the world come and fight in this you know, massive martial arts tournament put on by some nefarious villains. So Terry Bogard is one of the heroes from that series, a very popular character. Uh, but I never actually got to play the King of Fighters. It was a really popular arcade game. It was also out on the Neo Geo. Now, back in the day, when I was a kid, the Neo Geo was sort of this legendary, mystical thing that everyone had heard of, but no one ever actually got to see. It was a type of system where, you know, it's like your best friend's cousin's girlfriend's uncle would have a Neo Geo. And it would be awesome, but you would never actually get to see one in person. I still, to this day, have never seen a Neo Geo system in person. So um, I actually got to know Terry Bogard from more of the Fatal Fury series, which came out a little bit before King of Fighters. And, um, you know, it was eventually ported over to the Sega Genesis, which I had, of course, at home. And uh, I played him a little bit on that. So very popular character from this gaming series. Uh, uh, you can see the statue comes in two pieces. He's got the, the power wave over here. And I'll show you how they go together in a little bit. But um, right now we're going to get into the preview. I'm going to count it down just like we do on the reviews. I'm going to give you my three favorite things about this statue. And so we're not going to waste any more time. Let's get into it. we jump into the countdown here you're going to notice i have slid the two pieces of the statue together to form one mega statue and uh, you know the pieces just kind of butt up against each other there's no magnets or or pegs or anything you got to align they just butt up against each other like that and form this bigger statue and the power wave here that you see also has a light up feature there's a plug on the front that you need a micro usb cable you can then you plug it into your wall and there's a switch on the front and you can so you can fire up that light up feature for your friends and family and when they come over to take a look so let's get into the countdown now uh, at number three on my list i just love the dynamic action that this statue captures you can see he's right in the middle of one of his signature moves from the game it's called the power wave or i've seen people call it the power geyser um, where he punches the ground and then this wave of energy just shoots off towards his opponent so you can see he's doing that here in the ground where he's punching the ground. You've got all these rocks shooting off into the, uh, into the air. Uh, so it shows how powerful he is. Uh, you've got this outstretched pose, the knee up. And what I like about the pose is it doesn't really block your view of the character. You still get a nice look at his face and his chest and, and the character in general. So I like what they've done there. You've got the hair flowing and the jacket or the vest flowing in the air. So it really is this, um, you know, captured moment in time of the action. And I really like how they've captured that here. So a great job from Connecticut's capturing the dynamic move from the game. Moving on, number two on my list. I really like how they've made this statue modular. Uh, you can see I've, you know, separated the two pieces again here. You know, you, there are no peg holes or magnets here on the front of the statue here. So you can display Terry Bogard by himself. And that's really important for this particular piece because when you put them together, I called it a mega statue and it really is because it's almost a meter long when you put them together. It's a huge, huge piece. It looks awesome, but you may not have the room to display it together the way it's intended. So they've given you this option to display them separate. And I really like that, that you can put them separate and it looks totally fine, you know, as is here. Um, so good job by Connecticut to think about collector's display space and give you that option to display these two pieces separately. So I like the modular nature of this statue. This preview of Connecticut's Terry Bogard 
And the, my favorite thing about this statue is actually the clothes. Um, it absolutely has some of the most realistic sculpted clothing I've seen on any statue. I, I love the jeans on this statue, the denim texture, uh, just the way that the wrinkles and folds, the way it's sort of a boot cut around his shoes and the way they wrinkle around you know, his ankles. Um, the stitching, the pockets on the back, you've got the belt and the belt loops, you've got the nice leather patch on the back of the, the uh, top of the pants there with the little Fatal Fury emblem in there. You know, just the jacket has a nice texture with stitching and, uh, you know, the way it flows and wrinkles. Uh, the shoes, uh, I love the lacing up the front of the shoes and then you've got the rubber uh, toes and then the rubber around the soles. You've got the underside of the soles here. You've got a little bit of that pattern there and it's slightly worn. So, you know, these shoes have been worn quite a bit. Uh, just an excellent job all around, really, on all the sculpt. You know, this piece was sculpted by a guy named Rodrigue Pralier, a uh, French-Canadian. Uh, I'm Canadian, but I'm not French, so I hope I didn't butcher his name too badly. Um, super talented guy. You've, you've probably seen some of his other work. He did the Batman and Superman and Huntress Hush pieces from Prime One Studios. So those have been really well received, and he worked on all of those. So super talented Canadian sculptor. Um, he's done a great job all around, as I said. I really like the base as well. They've given it a nice sort of curved cobblestone pattern, just to give it a little bit of character instead of just a plain asphalt street. You know, the fire looks great too with all the rocks and the explosion, but really what's drawn my eye the most is the clothing on this piece, and I put that as my number one favorite thing about this statue overall. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this preview for you here. Uh, again, on my countdown, my three favorite things about this statue, the dynamic action of the piece. It just captures, you know, his signature move, the power wave. Uh, I love that about it. Uh, I like that it's modular. As I mentioned, it's, it is a huge statue when you put these two together. Uh, but you have the option to display them apart. You don't have to worry about any peg holes here on the front of the statue. So you can display Terry Bogard by himself. And number one, just the clothing on this statue. It's ultra realistic. Uh, they've done an excellent job. Um, it's some of the best sculpted clothing I've seen on any statue. So excellent job here from uh, the sculptor, Rodrigue, and Kinetic Cats as well. Um, so great piece from Kinetic Cats. It's probably the best one that I've had the pleasure of seeing in person. I have previously looked at the Jury Han and the War Heroes, Guile and Nash. Uh, both of those were very nice. This one I think is the, the best I've seen from Connecticut so far. Uh, a couple things I will note about the piece that I hope they address uh, as they get further along into production. The hair is pretty fragile, uh, especially, not so much the, the ponytail, but uh, these parts here, the bangs that stick out, or out the sides of his hat. Um, the light up feature, uh, I don't know if it's coming across in the video or not, but it's very like a bright white. And I wish it, uh, it was more of an orangey color in person, um, just to look a little bit more like fire. And the location of the switch and where the, it plugs in is right at the front. So you see this plug. Um, I'd like to see them move that around to this side, the back side. Uh, I think more people are going to display it this way where you're looking at Terry's left side. So if they move that switch and plug back here, it'd be less noticeable on display. So those few minor things. Otherwise, I think it's an excellent piece from Connecticut's. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out, the final piece. And uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, early look at a production sample of the Terry Bogard from the King of Fighters made by Connecticut. So more to come on the channel throughout the year. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you guys later.